Hi guys, this is Sadek from droidwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to download any Android app on your phone without using any ADB command or the use of PC. So the entire steps would be carried out on your phone itself. So as you might be aware, if you want to download any system app on your phone, then you will have to use the ADB shell command and as well as a few commands to install the app as well. So first you have to use the ADB shell command to remove the app using these two commands and then you'll have to install the APK using the adb install d parameter or the adb install stream command but using a nifty workaround you could bypass all this limitation that is you do not require to execute any adb command and in the process you will not require the use of the pc itself the entire downgrade of any system app will be carried out right from your phone itself however there exists just one limitation with this method and that is you will need a rooted phone yes you will have to root your phone beforehand if that's well and good then let's get started. So first off, please root your phone via Magisk. I have made a detailed guide and a video on the same. You could refer to my guide or the video on how to root your phone. Once you have done the root, you should get the Magisk app. As you could see from here, it's the Magisk app. So in my case, I have renamed the Magisk app to Droidwin because I have hide root from my device. In your case, if you have not done so, then the name with the Magisk itself and you should also see the app icon. In my case, I've hidden the root to pass 15 it. So that is why it's showing as Droidwin and the icon has been removed. In your case, it will be Magisk itself. So once you have installed Magisk and though your phone is rooted, you will now have to install the LS Post app. For the unaware, the LS Post is the older version of the Exposed framework that you might be aware of. So you could install this app up to Android 13 or any version below that. So for that, you will first off have to enable Zygisk. So to enable Zygisk, launch the Magisk app, tap on the settings icon, then enable the toggle next to Zygisk, and then you have to restart your phone. So enable the toggle Zygis next to Zygis and restart your phone. After restart, launch the Magisk app and make sure it's showing yes next to Zygis. As you can see in my case, it's showing yes next to Zygis. With this, we have enabled Zygis. So now you have to download the LS Post app for the Zygis version itself. So just go to its GitHub link and then go to the release section. And under release section, you should see the file under assets. So make sure you to download the Zygis release file, LS Post Zygis release zip file and send this file to your phone. Once you have sent this file to your phone, we will now flash this file via Magisk. So let's do so. So for that, you have to launch the Magisk app, go to modules, then tap on install from storage. And now you have to select the LS post, which was of the Zygisk version. So this is the file in my case. I made a selection and it will now flash the file. Once the flashing has been done, just tap on reboot. So you might notice that the steps are quite long, but do keep in mind that these are just the initial one time steps. From the subsequent time, you will not have to perform these steps. You could directly perform a downgrade on your phone right away. This is all these steps of installing the LS Post app and then installing one more app or just for the first time usage. From the subsequent usage, you will not have to carry out any task whatsoever. You could directly downgrade the app from your phone itself. So let me now show you how that could be done as well. Moreover, the steps are applicable across all the ROM version and across all the ROM, stock ROM or custom ROM that does not matter. What matters is phone should be rooted. Anyways, moving on, we have now installed the LS Pose app. As you could see from the magic section, go to modules and LS Pose is there. But we haven't gone the, got the APK file over. As you could see, there's no APK file of LS Pose. So we'll now have to install the app as well. For that, open the file manager app. And from there, you go to the section where you have downloaded the LS Pose zip file. So let me show you, this is the file. So extract this file and you have to now, after extraction, you will get all these files as you could see. So you will have to install the manager.apk file. So this is the manager apk file. Simply install this file, which you will get after extracting the LS Post zip file. So tap on install and the LS Post app is now installed. So tap on open and you will now get a prompt. Simply tap on OK. And as you could see, it's now activated and Zygis is enabled. So just to repeat, first off, you have to download the LS Post zip file, then flash this zip file via Magisk. Then extract the zip file and install the manager.apk file. This will install the app onto your phone. So let me show you. This is the LS Post app that we have now got onto our phone as well. And once that is done, we'll now have to install the module using which we could perform the downgrade. So simply download the let me downgrade module from GitHub. You could download from here and just download the APK file. I have already done so. So let me show you. Let's go to the file manager app and from here, as you could see, this is the let me downgrade app. Simply install it as you install any APK file. So let's wait. And as you could see, the app has now been installed. 
So once you have installed the app, you will get a notification that expose module is not yet activated. So tap on that notification or simply launch the LS Pose app. Now go to the modules tab and as you could see, it's now there. So tap on let me downgrade and you will now have to enable the toggle next to enable module. With this, the module has been enabled and you could now access it from here as well as you could see the it's a let me downgrade app. So let me show you once. So the module is not available because you have to perform a restart. That's compulsory. So just long press and hit the restart button and our phone will now restart and with that the module will be activated. This restart is also compulsory. So please do a restart. And once the restart is done, we'll then show you the steps to perform a downgrade as well. For the sake of reference, I'll be using the YouTube app which comes pre-installed on every Android phone. And then I'll show you how to downgrade that app to an older version. So our phone is just about to boot to the OS and as I told you before, all these are just for the first time users from subsequent times you will not have to carry out all these steps. So anyways, we have now installed the module and once the module has been installed, there will be no UI of the module as well. You could easily enable the module just by going to the notification panel and from here, you could see that the app downgrade toggle has been added. So just Tap on it and the module is now enabled as you can see from here. You could also place the pencil icon and change its location and bring it in the front as well if you want. And then hit the back icon as you could see we have now got the app downgrade on the front page. So make sure to tap on it and now it's showing us on. So with this we are done with the setup and from now onwards you could downgrade any system app on your phone without the need to use any ADB shell command. So for the sake of reference let me show you the YouTube app version. Currently, I'm using the latest app version, which is version 18.11.35. So as you could see from here, let me now show you the app version as well. So if you go to Play Store and search for the YouTube app, you could see it's the latest version 18.11.35, which has just been launched. So it was launched just a few days back, as you could see from here. So we will now downgrade the app to an older version. So we have downloaded the APK file of the app as well. Please make sure to download the app from a trustworthy side. So in our case, we have downloaded the app which is of version 18 point let me show you which is the version of 18.08 .08. so let me show you the complete version just a minute so let's check out the complete version of this file so if you go to file info you could see it's a 18.08.39 .08 so currently i am having the app version which corresponds to 18.11.35 and now i will do a downgrade to 18.08.39 .08 so you don't have to do anything just tap on the install button and the, you will not get a prompt to update the app that's completely normal just tap on update and with this the downgrade is now complete so let me show you the app is currently being installed and as you could see the app is now installed so if we now check out the results so go to the app info page and as you could see we are now back on the 18.08.39 .08 so earlier we had the version of 18.11.35 and now we are down to the version of 18.08.39 .08 in the subsequent way you could now downgrade any system app from your phone without the need to execute any ADB shell command. All they actually did just to repeat. So you have to make your phone rooted, then install the LS Post app, and after that, install the Let Me Downgrade app. Once you have installed the Let Me Downgrade app, there will be no UI. You just have to enable this toggle, and after that, just download the APK file of your choice and simply install it, and it will be downgraded. As I've shown you with the YouTube app. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.